Peter Rustaff sing you, this? Jesus. An amazing anointing that's yes. on that song. What's that, what are some of the words, Cheryl? Praise the Lord. Uh, it, it talks about the chains that bind that, us, that seem to bind you. They drop powerless behind you. When we praise the Lord. When you praise the Lord. testimonies that we're receiving from that hanky that we prayed over yes. and those that took out that hanky and just anointed it with oil yes. and we're expecting to hear more testimonies tonight oh you came on a good night that's all I can say right Cheryl I yes, mean this is an amazing night I don't know I haven't played praise the Lord I don't know how many years and I the Lord just know. dropped that into my heart oh so wonderful well Goodness. someone did request it did they? They said, Dino, would you please? Because I have a I want to tell you something. I received my miracle. Praise and all I want to do is Jesus. praise the Lord if you'll just play that tonight. Amen. And then of course there's so many other songs that, that talk about praising the Lord when it goes uh uh let's just praise. you praying throughout the day. All day Just long. keep praising mm -hmm. the Lord. And that's what this evening's all about. We're praising Him you, for His mighty, mighty goodness and, and faithfulness in our lives. Yes. How many, come on, think about it. How many of you can raise your hand and say, I have received a miracle at least once or twice or three times in my life. I would say Amen. dozens of times. Amen. I mean, we, we had a miracle even today. Yes. I mean, every day, we get it, but you got to praise the Lord and praise Him for that <laughs> which is about to happen. That's stepping out by faith. Yes. Believe for your miracle before it even happens. Boy, that's faith. That's for sure. Thank you, Jesus. Well, thank you for joining us tonight. Yes. I'm so glad. How many new people do we have? If we have any new folks, oh, please goodness. let us know and say, Dean, this is my first time. I'm from Shushkawana, wherever. <laughs> How about Shipshawana? That's Shipshawana. a good place. I've played there before. <laughs> yes, yeah. we, we both And just let there. us know where you're from and, and, and just say that I'm now watching you i have never watched you before never seen you and cheryl ever as a matter of fact i don't even know who you are but i was led to watch this a friend of mine told me to watch or a relative told me to watch well the word's getting me. around because uh praise the lord yeah uh bob durham says it was on your rush hour recording from 1979. what year 1979. Well, take my calendar out <laughs> Well, this is this is only December. Oh yes, I can't that's go that only far December. Nineteen seventy nine. How many years ago is that, Cheryl? That's a long time. 
Lord. <laughs> Just We're in, what, 2019 in almost. Yeah, almost. I was a little, you, you know, if you ever could see a copy of that cover, look it up. I don't know if you can even Google it. I'm not even sure if it even exists anymore. It's about 40 years ago. Well, the piano, it's titled Rush Hour. And there was a theme song that was called Rush Hour that we, we composed. And the cover, listen to this. <laughs> Just leave it, leave it to this grief. What can I tell you? I always dream up all these crazy ideas for covers and for, for just whatever creative thing God lays on my heart. We had the piano filmed or photographed on the freeway in Los Angeles. Can you believe that? Picture that. <laughs> Look it up. It's called Rush Hour. We actually, what happened was uh, there was a new road, new uh, freeway. freeway road mm -hmm. that was being constructed. It was just completed. It wasn't even open. <laughs> And we asked the city if we could bring our piano and just place it there. And I'm I'm playing the piano, and we and we have all these cars all around us. It's very cool. Bob says the cover. Yes, the cover is cool. Does Bob have a copy of the cover? <laughs> Evidently. Well, if you do, Bob, uh, show it to us. Take a picture. Take a picture. Put it on my Dino fan page yeah. so everybody can see. It's very very cool. Absolutely. Here's our Christmas calendar, Cheryl. Yes, sir. Here it is. I'm excited about where Countdown. where the um, the gift giver, which is Jesus, but that one is this. the Santa Claus. Update. You want to hear it right from the top of our yeah. session? I got to tell you, I got the word today that these are being printed, almost completed. Oh. Now let me tell you the process. You guys have to understand this because some of you have been calling Crockside, uh, the uh, Nordscop company, asking when is my hymnal coming out? And actually, we had someone cancel two of the hymnals because they didn't feel it came out quick enough. But I felt bad about that. But be patient with us. I heard today from Jerry himself, Mr. Mr. Nordskog, the owner of the company, said they're being printed as we speak. And it'll be, be out by around the, let's see, 14, 15, 16, 17, right around there, okay, of December. I've got Santa Claus out here. And when yeah, I get a definite date in there. next week, hopefully I'll get a definite date, I'll tell you exactly. This is what, this is the process. Those who ordered this, the, the hymnal, for that discount, the yes, first 500, yes. with an autograph. The company in California has got to send 500 of these hymnals here to Branson. And Cheryl and I are going to sit in some room in our church. We decide to do it. And we're going to sit there, and we're going to open the book. There's a photograph of Cheryl and myself, and I'm going to write, probably, I love you. I'll yes, we're and me too. Because we're going to love <laughs> And then Cheryl will say, I love you too. There's going to be a lot of love going around here. There is. And we will have an autograph, and then I will send it immediately out of here, out of Branson. It'll come to you to, so you get it quicker, okay? And I promise Amen. we'll get it out maybe the day we have an autograph. We're going to wrap them up, pack them up really well. We're getting the supplies Amen. this week, sometime this week. We're prepared. Yes. It's got to go in an envelope. We've got to put your label on there. Of course, <laughs> autograph, envelope, label. we got to stamp it, and it's going to be... I'll tell you, you're going to get it soon, soon after that. Yes, our sweet Rhonda Barrett just said, wow, well, it takes a good bit of time to get all that done. She so understands. be patient. Rhonda, let me tell you about Rhonda. She's wonderful. She's a wonderful lady. Yes, she and is. And a lot of you know that already. Uh, she named you by your name and says, Amen. I'm praying for you specifically this week for Thank your healing. You, Jesus. And her prayers are priceless. Yes, they are. You know, some people just know how to touch the throne of God yes. in their prayers. And I like to think that Cheryl and I do the same thing because we, okay, praise in the morning, praise in the afternoon, praise them all day long. And then you pray, pray, praise and pray, praise and pray, yes. praise and pray. We do, I do this when I'm traveling, even when I'm in, in our car alone. I say, Lord, yes. please perform that miracle for that person that's, that has texted us yes. or sent a message. Dino, I have a word here from Stephen Rios. Yes. He said, the first time I heard your music was with a family friend named Jim Bolts, who used to be our dentist. Our dentist, yes. And uh, thank you so much for joining us, Stephen. We appreciate that so much. We're grateful to Where's all of from? you. Where's he from, does he say? He doesn't. Is it no. Florida, maybe? Is well, he must have been Bolts from... Too. He was the best dentist in the world. He yeah. <laughs> loved the Lord. Young man, he's written a song. He wrote this song. See if I remember it. And then it goes on to the chorus.
first. We have a wonderful young lady, Jennifer, who says she would appreciate prayer. This is for all of you to pray as well. Her yes. name is Jennifer. Would you pray for healing and deliverance from fear Whoa. and anxiety? Well, let me tell you, that's and that so is rampant, rampant in this world. Right now, fear and anxiety. Yes, sir. Oh, Lord, let's, uh, let me just play a song right now. And I'm going to play this song. It's a chorus we've sung for years. Lord, just drop it into my spirit. This is for those who have fear and anxiety. Yes. And if it's you, I want you to just close your eyes, take a deep breath, and just breathe in. In the presence the of the Lord. The glory of the Lord. Yes. In the presence of the Lord, the Holy Spirit. Yes. And it says this, and this is the only way you're going to get rid of your anxiety and fear. It's this, it's this way. Turn your eyes upon you. Yes. Look full in his glorious, wonderful face. And the Fearful. Temporal. Te well, They're only here fear. for a little while. I mean, but the news will fear. set, set yes. fear in your life. Uh, the, the, actually, the devil just places that in your, in your yes. mind. Yes, he tries. He just, he just gets into your head and he says, he just mm. that fear. I, well, I can't do this or I'm afraid of this or that. What's going to happen to him? Paying bills is one of the greatest fears that people acquire because they're fearful of not being able to pay their bills tomorrow. That's right. But Cheryl and I have learned that we take one day at a time God will supply listen we had a miracle today we had a financial need today I'm yes we you. did I'm just telling you you know we're, we're really open with you because you're our family and I just open my heart to you that's why I love these sessions because we could talk to each other and just open up we don't have to tell any real personal things but no. but I can tell you that we had a financial we had a financial challenge today yes. and also tomorrow but I'm not gonna worry about tomorrow no because God always will provide. I want you to. I want you to think on that. Think for today. They, the word says, it's, "It's sin to worry about tomorrow." Fear is the opposite of our faith. Faith is God's way to attack fear. So begin to believe and trust in God. Hey. And our good friend Joy Miller says, "Believe me, when Dino drives, everyone in the car <laughs> prays." <laughs> That's what we see the scores. Turn your eyes up and then when on they say, Jesus. Turn, I turn, you know, just quickly. <laughs> oh, I love that. That's you, so that sweet. That's really funny. Yes, Boy, it that's is. That's hilarious. It really yes, is. And we she, have driven together, that's for sure. She is funny. And listen, <laughs> uh, she's been through surgery for her yes. knees, or hips, actually. And her husband and, and has been Michael, through. And listen, God's delivering them and giving them strength. We have to Amen. pray for Michael, though. Amen. That God will just clean whatever that is in his heart or whatever yes. is going on in his body. Yes. And also for the arteries to the brain being clogged of Judy Morris's husband. Oh, okay. Arteries to the brain. Oh, Lord, you can clean, yes, you can clean up the arteries right now. Every, everything. And Father, give, give, is it her, right? It's her husband. Give him yes. a, a new DNA. Thank you, Jesus. That bl blood just flows yes. smoothly, Father. Yes. That's that supernatural cleansing blood power of the Lord. And we pray that for Him right the now. Cleansing Father. power and of the Lord. Stay with that brain. We want that brain Thank to be you. right and, and 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 just strong and to be able to think and and do what God wants Him to do in His life. I don't know. I just feel that He's got some kind of a ministry that God has called Him into. Yeah, and. Uh, we need to pray that God yeah. will just open the doors. He for, may have been ministering all these once years. Once he has, Cheryl, do we know anything about that? We only know that he's older. Okay. And that the Lord still can heal. It doesn't matter your age. Age has nothing to do with it. Nothing. We've talked about age. Yes, we have. You know, age is a number. That's all it is. What does yes, it mean? It what does Mimi say about age? 
She said, age is only a number and mine is unlisted. There you go. So his is unlisted, unlisted. tonight. <laughs> but we will believe for that healing. Yes. Oh, because yes. already we have had healings taking place during these wonderful times that yes. we spent together. You know, it's, I, I just feel that God has set aside for us an hour on Tuesday nights where a, a special anointing Amen. comes upon all of us yes. through my playing and through our words Praise and Cheryl Jesus. singing. Thank Just something Lord. very special. That song you sang uh, last week, Cheryl, he'll do it again. Yes, sir. I'll tell you what. We've got more people saying that. Yes. that is Cheryl Thank sang in a church this past Sunday. I did. And, yes. uh, and, and Sue Ann Gray mentioned that she saw she oh. Faith and Wisdom Church yes. every Sunday morning. Actually, you can go there right now and watch the Sunday morning service, Cheryl sang, From last night. he'll do it again. And what does that mean? That if, whatever he's done for Moses, whatever he's done for Ezekiel or uh, Daniel, Daniel, and the, even presently, whatever he's done yeah, for Miss for Barrett, <laughs> she yes, was healed. Yes. He can do it for you. Yes, he can. There's no he, limitation. There is no distance with God. He's there with you right now. I want you to know that, Jennifer. He is right in that room with you. His presence is there. The angels are encamped around you. Angels of protection. Yes. And to give you joy unspeakable, full of his glory. this for you. It's been requested many times. It's one of the arrangements that I've put together for that 101 hymn CDs that I'm, well, I'm still working on. Of course, I won't be, I'll be stopping until probably next year when we actually record it. 101 song. And one of the hymns that I record that's in this hymnal is Jesus is all the world to oh, me. Yes. That means, you know what that means? Think about that. Amen. He means everything to us. Every move we make, every decision we make. Yes. Jesus, without him. We can do nothing, as that chorus says. healing you know when fear comes to you mm. or, or, or bad something comes into your brain that the mm -hmm. devil tries to infiltrate into your brain just call on the name of Jesus you know it's just amazing how when you say Jesus with the sincerity of your heart and believe in his name yes his name is wonderful his name is mighty yes his name is powerful. power so when you say the name of Jesus it's amazing. It just wipes, it just clears out all the clears dross. Clears the slate. All the dross. Fear, sadness. Uh, 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 the Word of God says being be so sensitive when people be talk to you. Be anxious and not for nothing. Be just gracious. Yes. Someone wrote something very terrible on our, I don't know, hopefully you folks didn't see it on I our, hope not. and very seldom do we get anything negative. Right, right Cheryl? It's right. A, but just uh, last week, and someone actually told me that it happened, or else I wouldn't have known, that this person said some terrible things, and they were ready to back, fight back and defend. I said, huh. I want you to do this with graciousness. Mm -hmm. Tell them, just pray. We're praying. And pray for that person, too. Yes. Oh, because yes. there's something in his heart. Bitterness is a heart that God is... So he, if he's saying that about me... God knows so many other people he's talking about in a negative way. Truly. And our pastor preached on from bitter to, to better. better. So we can do better than bitter. We can trust the Lord and uh, share with our brother or our sister and then pray for them. Let me play this. This is an arrangement that I wrote and I'm going to play it again because hopefully very soon I'll be recording it. Mm -hmm. Every one of these hymns that I play from this hymnal 
have been very special, and they're all different. God just gives me so. I'm not bragging here, but God gives me creativity. Yes. For each hymn. Beautiful. So it'll just. Uh, Thank you. You'll Jesus. hear the message. It's important that the melody comes out. That's how you communicate with a piano. If there's no words. Be sure you play the melody so people can hear the lyrics. Mm -hmm. and this says. Is my intro. Stage and it goes, you take it again. guys wow. so I had to rework on that one. <laughs> that's not my favorite key six flats but uh, that I arrangement I just love playing it because to me when I play it I just feel about what Jesus means to me and yes he means all the world to me praise you Jesus. Cheryl you've got something to share well you're holding um, something up there. I'm holding this up I thought maybe you might put your glasses on and read it but I'll read it to you yeah we've had the request of turn your eyes upon Jesus Sweep over my soul, let it breathe on me, and some others here that I will write down. this 
ones that we Yes, but I have a, the other one is a praise report about this song. What's the third song? I want to hear this. Uh, sweep over my soul, Holy Spirit. Oh, sweep. Sweep. No, I don't know. Sweep over my soul. Oh, that's a good one. Um, I, Can What's I do this while you're Cheryl, looking? I want to hear it, yes. Our son played Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus yes. on a continuous loop during the hurricane as he sat in a closet. He clutched his Bible and prayed and survived. Praise the and Lord. And he was singing. Turn, Turn your, your eyes, eyes upon, upon Jesus. Jesus. It was it's about, it's on a loop. Jesus. On a loop. He kept yeah. singing. Yeah, Jesus, he kept. Jesus. And I, I, I also read another uh, testimony today is similar to this uh, the fires in California yes now you know we've prayed I mean we we seek God yes so intensely that he will stop those fires in the name yes, of we just in Jesus it, name. In the name of Jesus and and they said it it stopped sooner than they expected they're yes. expecting this to end it's a stop at the end of this month but it's it's hundred percent over oh praise the Praise God. Praise the Listen, Lord. that's not coincidence. God, God's hand is on so much of this, especially in California, and protecting Christians. This is what I, I, I want to make and emphasize, that he will cover you. Yes, he will. There's a covering that you'll have when there's danger around you. How many of those homes I heard recently that, that did not burn down? That's right. And some of these people are Christians. Well, that's a miracle. Wonderful Grace of Jesus. That's another great song. Another one that is why the fires have stopped, is because of His grace. are saying we're praying for those who are battling cancer. Oh, yes. Such a, a terrible word in, in this life, but it's nothing to God. He has taken the stripes on his back. He has healed you in Jesus' name, the name of Jesus, the name above every name. He is the healer. He is our mighty God. Thank you so much, Lord. I wonder we if that person you. did what we did last week. We took that hanky out. I don't know, and we but I hope and, so. And prayed over it. And, and a lot of you said, I've never done that before. Right. I didn't know that that was in the Bible. But guess what? It's in I wouldn't the Bible. Have, I would not have had you do that unless it was in the Bible. That's right. Because it has to be in the Word of God. If we're going to do something that is, that, that, that is out of the ordinary, well... Some things in the Bible are out of the ordinary. They and were, gonna, yes. Cheryl's going to read the scripture. As a matter of fact, where is it found? It's in Acts, right, It's Cheryl? in Acts 19 and 11 and 12. Yes. God used Paul to do some very special miracles. Some people took handkerchiefs and clothes that Paul had used and put them on the sick. When they did, when they did this, the sick were healed and the evil spirits left. 
Now, That's great. you know, sickness comes from the devil. Oh, yeah. It comes by Satan so and again, the spirit. God told the Apostle Paul yes. to give a hanky yes. to the sick ones, right? Yeah, well, to those who were there to take, the, the to take them to the sick even. Take it to the sick. Yes, and lay it on their body. Lay their body. And at that time... When they did this, the sick were healed and the evil spirits had to flee. Well, they powerful. left oh, them. that's powerful. Right then. That's powerful. Oh, God I, is so much bigger listen, I remember as a than child, any problem. My dear little Greek grandma. Now picture my grandma. She looked like Golda Meir. <laughs> she had black hair pulled back and the butt in the back, you know. And she had ankles like this. I mean, I remember that. But she was such a woman of... Do you know that yeah. Catherine Kuhlman actually... Had my grandmother oh. pray for her. I mean, that's how powerful Catherine Kuhlman felt. Yes, about my, my God is real. And this is yes. the lady that has had such an influence on my life. My grandma, we called her Yaya. And I remember when my mom would call Yaya, her mother, and say, Dino's not feeling, Christina's not, my, your, our, my daughter's not feeling well, Chris. She said, okay, I'm praying. I'm going to get on my knees right now. I'm going to get a hanky. I'm going to anoint it and pray over it. And I want you to come over now, New York City. You know, we live close. You walk to, to the different apartment houses, you know. And immediately, Mom went to Yaya's house, climbed those five flights of stairs to the top yes. there, where Yaya had her little apartment there, where the Spirit of God was so powerful. I thought you walked in and you felt it. Amen. But she picked up those hankies, and she brought them to us. Yes, And, yes. and I you. always, I always wanted that on the, because I knew Yaya prayed over that Amen. and I put it on my chest whether I had the flu or the cold or whatever it was you know yes and I feel so it was so comforting actually yes and and the next morning I'd wake up the cough is gone I'm telling you there is Jesus healing name. in, the in that anointing yes that anointing that, that is so that's all to say this the Lord lays on my heart today look tell me if you're, you're okay with this Cheryl, I wanted you to hear this too. Okay. And uh, sometimes I say things on here that I don't share, I haven't shared. I just want to um, do it together with all of us together because we are a family. Yes. Last week we did take the hanky. A lot of you did, and some of you asked, "Why do we? Why do we do this?" And you know, I never heard of that. So now you heard the scripture. God asked Apostle Paul mm -hmm. to pray over the hanky and give it to those that were afflicted, and they will be healed. Amen. So, this is what I'm going to do. And I real feel, I feel very led to do this. There, there are sweet moms and dads out there and, and grandparents yes, that have grandchildren. You have children and kids get sick so often. Or perhaps you're not well. Or perhaps your friend has cancer, whatever it is. Cheryl and I are going to do something. We're going to get prayer cloths. We'll call them hankies. Yes. Okay, Cheryl? Okay. Uh -huh. We're gonna get we're gonna get a stack of hankies, uh -huh. and we're gonna take individual hanky, and we're gonna anoint it with oil. We're gonna put a drop pray of oil on there. Jesus. We're gonna pray yes. for each hanky. Now I don't know how many we'll have to pray for. It depends on how many of you ask for it, okay? And I, we would like to send it to you and put that on your a pillow at night or under your pillow, mm -hmm. lay it on your chest because there's going to be such anointing on that pillow because Cheryl and I are going to just, Amen. we are going to just seek God for the answer to your healing Amen. in the name of we Jesus. Are. So you're Our saying, well, how, how do I get the hanky? Well, you're going to have to send us your, your address. Yes. That's all. Somehow send us your address. Put your address in an envelope and just send it to P.O. Box 6060 Branson, Missouri. Jesus. That's the best way to do it. Dino Ministries. P.O. Box 6060, Branson, Missouri. Zip code is 65616. Amen. And maybe if some of you can share it with others because we have a hard time remembering. P.O. Box 66. A lot of you know Thank that address. You, and just ask for that hanky. We're not going to send to to you unless... You, because, you see, this is what it is. You have got to step out by faith and, and say, I want to receive that hanky. Just as God told the Apostle Paul to pray over the hanky and to put it on those that are afflicted. We want to do the same thing for you because there are many of you that watch that are going through some very difficult time, whether it's financial, whether it's physical, whether it's mental. Fear be gone in the name of Jesus. 
I pray. There's no magic in that hanky. I no. Want you to know. This is not oh, no. this is not a gimmick or anything. No. There's prayer in that hanky. There is an anointing on it. There's an anointing on it. Praise I don't know if Lord. anybody's ever done that, but I just feel we should do that, Cheryl. Amen. So send your your request to yes. that address. And we will get it out to you as soon as we can. And uh saved i mean it's going to just it's so powerful across this nation yes. that every person that comes into the atmosphere of yes. prayer and worship Amen. and healing will receive their healing in the name of jesus Amen. don't you i believe that cheryl Amen. i really do because the church you see the bible says that when the rapture takes place the church is going to go out victoriously yes we are now i don't know if the bible says that or god just laid it on my heart but, but there will be revival just before the trumpet of the Lord shall but sound. the Bible says there is victory in Jesus oh, yes. through prayer and faith yes, 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 and yes. the understanding of his word. And um, our first time uh, live visitor here, Stephen, yes, says Stephen. my granddaughter has cystic fibro fibrosis. Now, our granddaughter is expecting a baby on the 26th of December. Yes. And she has had a cloth that was prayed over at our church uh -huh. and she's had it with her continually and how's she doing? for that baby. She's doing marvelous. I know, we saw her just a few days ago. Yes, marvelous. This is our great baby, great grandchild. Great grandchild. Woo. You know, that is um, fast, right? it's amazing. Because we are believing, I would like to read this to you. When the Holy Spirit lifts the cover and removes the veil that has blocked your view from God's plan for you, the eyes of your spirit suddenly will see and perceive the truths that were previously veiled by the enemy. God holds the answers to all you seek. And if you're seeking healing, it's coming right now.
everyone that has sent a request tonight. We're believing with you. You know, Jesus went to the garden to pray and he knelt and he prayed for each one. He prayed for God's miracle. He prayed and he prays with us even now. The Holy Spirit he sent to us and he lives within us if we know Jesus is our Savior. And he is interceding. At the, the Lord is interceding at the right hand of the Father. And our Holy Spirit, our teacher, is praying now. you know, and, and haven't really lived the life that the Word of God speaks about mm -hmm. in righteousness, purity. 
I'm praying for those right now. It's not only Jennifer that's having problems with her mind. I'm believing that there are other people that are that are having that same problem. That the mind is is saying things to you that you should not be listening to. It's, yes. it's, something is speaking into that mind of yours, yes. in that brain of yours. It's nothing but the enemy. Yes. That's right. And I'm praying that you will surrender everything you've got to the Lord. You know, it's you know, it's so easy, it's profound. The word of God says if we come as a child yes. and lean not to our own understanding, That's don't right. try to figure it out. It's so simple, I, I, like I said, it's profound to say, Jesus, forgive me of my sins. In all our ways. And forgive me of all my sins and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Amen. All those sins I pray that I'll just you It'll go out. into the, what does the word the say? Sea the sea of forgetfulness. Of forgive. In other words, forgetfulness. Slate, He'll never it, remember it. Never remember again. No. Isn't that amazing? That's it's a shame Jesus. that sometimes our friends cannot forget. But Jesus does forget. And that's what's the most important right yes, there. Yes, it is. So I want you the next few minutes to just repeat this prayer after me. And then I'm going to play the song oh, again. Jesus. And you, you can sing this knowing that you belong to Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. And that Jesus belongs to you. Thank you, Lord. I don't know what you're going through, what you, what, what hurt you that's happening with that child that left your home, and you're wondering where that child is. If there's there's someone out there that children, you, you're just dear God, bring them back to the fold because I haven't seen them in such a long time. Take that bitterness away from them. Yes. Turn their hearts around to yes. something that is that is right. And I pray that our relationship will become what it used to be yes. as a mother and daughter, father and son, yes. mother and son, whatever that is, I pray yes. right now. I, I don't know why, Cheryl, I really feel in my spirit there are people that are praying for their children Yes, that they I haven't seen that. for such a long time. Yes, And they're crying out to God. I mean, they're so hurt. Can you imagine if our daughters left and, and we didn't know oh. where they were, where they've gone, no. and, and in what, what environment they're in right now, no. if they're in danger or not? That's a, the worst thing as a parent. And we want you to believe that God will reunite you with your children. Yes. That's so strong in my heart. This, if this, you have a this broken heart. I don't know why, but there, there's people that are praying for that right now. Mothers and fathers with broken hearts. Yeah, you know. Or husband and wife, yes. whatever. You know. Those who are estranged <sighs> from each other. Father, right Lord now, we ask healer. that, first of all, you forgive us of our sins. Yes, and I want you to repeat Jesus. this prayer once again. Yes, Jesus, Jesus, forgive me of my sins. Jesus, forgive me of my Cleanse sins. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Cleanse me from all come unrighteousness. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Come in, to, come in to stay. Come in to stay. Father, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Father, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. And I believe that you died upon the cross for and me, I a sinner. And I believe that you died upon the cross for me, a sinner. And your blood was shed. And your blood was shed. To wash away all my sins. To wash away all my sins. Because it is through sins. the blood of Jesus Christ. For it is through the blood of that Jesus our sins are forgiven. that our sins are forgiven. And right now I promise. And right now I promise you, Lord. Unto our Lord Jesus Christ. Unto our Lord Jesus Christ. That I will serve him. I will serve you. Lord. I will read the word. I will read the I will word. Pray. I will pray. I will go to church and be fed spiritually. I will go to church and be fed spiritually. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you for the miracle of salvation. Thank you for the miracle of salvation. And I know someday now, because the gift that comes with salvation. And I know someday now, because of the gift that comes with salvation. The greatest gift of all. The greatest gift of all. Is eternal life. Is eternal life. And we look forward to that day when we see you. And we look forward to that day when we see you. No more troubles, no more, no more sorrow. No more troubles, no more sorrow. No more pain. No more pain. Tears will be wiped away. Tears will be wiped and away. And we'll be in the presence of the Almighty God. And we'll be in the presence of you, Almighty God. Forever. Forever. And ever. And ever. I mean, just think about it. Oh, joy and No ending. It's eternal, eternal life. Yes. It, it's hard to even fathom. Don't even oh think about it. Jesus, how but just beautiful know, heaven must be. It's forever. It's forever. Now you can see it. belongs to me.
why we're putting this out. You're going to be receiving this very, very, and those who haven't even purchased this, you need to go on the Nortz Gong Publishing Company. Get your hymnal. What a great Christmas gift. Look at the color. Perfect. Is it Nordskog? Look how nice it looks the Someone put up the Nordskog uh, address. Someone will. Yeah, for sure. While we're yeah. talking here about yeah, them. Yeah, and be sure. 101 hymns that we have selected. Actually, you and I have selected. Yes. All my Facebook family. And then to top it all off, not only do you get the hymn, mm -hmm. but you also get a devotional written by Cheryl. That's oh, the Lord is so What do they say? Good. The socks off? What are they, how do they say that? I, I'm I just so thrilled New York City, I've been for so an opportunity. I'm sure say, you Cheryl? haven't. They'll bless, They'll the, bless socks the socks off of you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I who think was, that's who was the one that wore, wore red socks? Oh, uh, with Quartet. Florida Boys, the yeah. pianist there. He wore red socks red all the time. Red socks right? all the time. He surely did. And I, <laughs> I wore funny. my red shoes. Have you noticed? Yes. I'm going to shoes turn to match down all the and let you see. Got on. You see those handsome red shoes? Where'd you yeah. get those, Mr. Dino? Oh, I forget. But anyway. In Italy. Oh, was it in Italy? Yes, you did. Oh, my country. <laughs> <laughs> I found out my DNA, right? Right. And they're so comfortable. They really yes, are. Yes, They're great. But I'm wearing so red, getting for ready you. for Christmas. And uh, yes. uh, if you watch the 7 o'clock little session that we do every week, we come on at 7 o'clock just to give you a little preview of what's yes. coming up. So kind of join us if you can next next week, God willing. And uh, Cheryl was sitting here. Oh, they didn't. I don't know if they saw you, did they? I don't know. Well, come here. Let, let them see you. <laughs> Well, I just, I'll watch just how we match tonight. Oh, yes, we do. Don't I'll we? tell you, okay. Cheryl I've dressed up. Get around here and sit She's not in her pajamas tonight. Sit here close we go. to you. <laughs> here we are. And tell you we love you so much. Yeah, we do. And we are soon to have what? songbooks and yeah, Merry you. Christmas because Very soon. you're going to get your songbooks. Do you know someone ordered 25 of the, uh, the hymnals from the North Scott Publishing Company? I am so excited. Yeah. And just so you know, I want you to know that. None of that money comes to us. It goes actually oh, no. to the production of those hymns. Yes. It goes to the Norkskog Publishing Company. And uh, and the price is not bad, really. No. But you get 101 hymns with Cheryl's devotionals. And I'm telling you, this is what, this is what we're going to do. We're giving these out because the Red don't know when it's coming out yet. No. And we're going we're gonna, to uh, probably put the five of these uh, all together and put a, a red ribbon and give it to a family. That's a good idea. Isn't that great? And they give it out to their grandchildren. And... It is your contributions that pay the postage and pay things, uh, getting this all ready. Well, no, it's not, not contribution. Not the postage? But no, no, it? it's not a contribution. Actually, I'm purchasing this. Purchasing. From the North Star Publishing Company, and that includes, I guess it includes, I don't know if they're sending it for free. I don't know. You'll have to check on their website. Check tonight, okay? Well, he was doing the business. I was doing the... Uh, devotional, so exactly. I don't know all that. <laughs> exactly. But, but we do appreciate, appreciate you guys that have helped us financially. Listen, yes. you know, we we take none of that for granted. No. And uh, we only want those gifts, those, those, those offerings, only if God lays it on your heart. Absolutely. Just don't do it because, you know, you feel obligated. No, we're here to serve you. We're here no to minister to you week after week. Now, of course, if we're on a, in a concert in a church, they take offerings and that sort of thing. Yes, and God blesses us do. that way. Yes. But only if you know, we tell the people then, just put in there whatever God lays on your heart. Amen. And, you know, some of you think, well, dollar, it doesn't, that's not much. No, it is. It is. In God's eyes, it's much. What's little, that story in the Bible about that lady? Is, little is much when God is in What's it. What's that word? The, the Bible? story when she gave what? the widow's might. Yeah. Yeah. It was the last the thing last, she had, yeah. and God mightily blessed her. Oh, tremendously, yeah. Amen. So we appreciate that so much. <coughs> and as me. you know, you know, we're very open with you and telling you that we're doing less traveling now. Once in a while, we go out there, and uh, it's been a while since, and I don't know when we're going to have next, but uh, but we will keep you posted if we do. Mm -hmm. But what, what, you're, what you're doing by helping us, uh, the offerings, is, is helping our ministry. To continue to come to you every Tuesday night yes. right here. We love being home. We do. We Don't love we? being with you every Tuesday right yeah. here in our own home yeah. where we pray and read the word and, and pray for you. Yes. Oh, I thank you so much. And we don't have to go to a hotel. We don't. We go right in our bedroom. Yes, we Straight can. to our bedroom. To our Put our bed. Job. Oh, well, I don't want to job. But anyway, <laughs> uh, we're able to relax and, and just have a one, wonderful time uh, in the Lord as we yes. fall asleep tonight. And again, let me just recommend this. When you do 
lay your head on the pillow. Just again, just call on the name of Jesus, yes, or just play one of my CDs in the background. Yes. The peace CDs. Oh yeah, peace that's perfect. Is wonderful. With the sound effects of nature in the background, God's mm -hmm. creation, and I play "Tis So Sweet to Trust in Jesus" and all mm -hmm. that. And you can get those CDs on our website, you BransonKate. Dot, dot com. Yes. Go to BransonCake.com and, and listen, I have an, uh, another there idea. six of those. Not too. only that, what? Christmas is coming. We can ship cakes for, for Christmas gifts. We can. Oh, what a great gift. This is a great time of year to ship them. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. I and just thought have, of that. We have peppermint cakes. We have. We well, just now our, are making the yes, peppermint cake. Yes, and the and coconut our cream is unbelievable. Oh, yes. And that of our, course, the carrot is our, our signature. Number one carrot. cake. So yes. that's a great gift. If you're looking for it, other than a fruit cake, people still sell fruit cakes or uh, send fruit cakes. Claxton, I think, in Georgia is the only place that are they I know of. business? Because I don't hear about it. I'm them not much. sure. But carrot cakes would be perfect. They yes. really would. Well, listen, guys, we love you so much. This has been wonderful. Do you realize we've been here for about an hour? I know. Time goes so quickly. Well, we're I having just so much looked at my blessing. And, oh, we're just now overtaking the hour. <laughs> we have. And we're going into the next one. But we we do. Uh, we will continue to pray for you, for your uh -huh. needs. Yes. And we bless you right now in the, the name of Jesus. Amen. And Send us your address. Mail it to us. PO Box 6060, Brent, Brent Missouri 65616. Just put Dino there, and ask for the prayer hanky. We're gonna pray, Cheryl and I. Yes. And uh, you know we may even and share that with our church because we do the anointing. Yes, we do. On Sundays, you every know, every week. We'll get up the body of Christ, just yes. praying for you, and we'll send it either back to you, and you lay that on your shoulder, or your back, or wherever you're hurting under your pillow just on your heart and just let that process take place in your body take it to that a great child Amen. yeah put it on your yeah. body yeah. yeah you know whatever the need may be and put it on your wallet if you have financial need just lay that on the wallet mm -hmm. and give it to the lord yes. don't worry don't fret just say lord jesus you said you'll supply my need according to your riches yes. In glory in Christ Jesus. And on the hanky, we're going to put on there, we're going to really try to do this, somehow to have it embroidered or something, I'm not sure. Acts. Acts. Um, what is it, 21? No. It's oh, Acts. Something uh, 12. 20. Wait a minute. Acts 19. 20, 19. And 11 and 12. Yeah. So we're going to write, we're going to put that on the hanky. 11. So this way your friends will know that it's in the Word of God, that this really is something that God wants us to do. Here's okay? Me. We love you. We love you so much. <laughs> so much. Thanks for joining us. Yes. And let the joy of the Lord come upon you throughout this evening. And the and Lord be, be with blessed, you the okay? rest of this week till we meet again. Okay? Till we meet again. Lord Wait. Bless you. I, think we, I think we love I you so much. This. We don't want to leave.